Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bull trend or bearish reversal signal what's going on with the stock market world let's move to Vibull if you want to learn about Vibull setup just go to the description there is the link about Vibull setup training and other links about all my trainings let me briefly mention let me briefly mention about my setup um i'm using moving averages this line shows a may 200 white line uh, ma 100 purple line ma 50 blue line ma 20 yellow line ma 10 red line and my green file uh, ma 5 green line also green dots bullish reversal signal red dots bearish reversal signal that's all very simple MACD indicator green line, red line, signal line, RSI same setup, RSI green line, also oscillator green bars, bullish, red bars, bearish. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved, but if you follow indicators and you will trust the indicators, not your emotions, you will be successful. Just follow the trend. Don't fight with the trend. US dollar bullish today, plus 0.33%. Another bullish day, bullish trend. Bullish trend on all indicators, are RSI in overbought state, it touched 70 line. Bullish trend, looks like it wants to go to, to 200, I made 200, 200 or 5, maybe will be rejected, we'll see. Bullish trend, it's a bearish for index, especially for Qs, but Qs is bullish too, it's fully disconnected. Let's, let's move, let's move to Qs. Let's go to uh, daily time frame. Let's start daily time frame for Qs. I touched today, you see 1341. It's a higher than it was in August last year. August last year it was 333. It moved $10 almost, yeah, $7 more, $8 more. Bullish trend bullish signal it left some gap below it may it left four dollars gap it left four dollars gap bullish trend macd nothing changed same same setup nothing nothing new bearish divergence still on macd still bearish divergence on the on the awesome oscillator nothing changed and still bearish divergence on RSI. On RSI even worse. Bearish divergence is on all indicators. It means Qs still has potential to go down and to test. It never tests this major trend line. It will test it. It will test it. I don't know the day, but it will test it. It will, cor it will correct this bull trend. It, it, this bull trend it will be bull trap and it will correct, connect and retest this line. Okay, still bullish trend. Bullish trend for our time frame. It, yeah, a few days ago it changed to bearish trend. It did bearish crossover and today it moved back above all moving averages. MACD did bullish crossover, RSI did bullish crossover, Osmos awesome later also did bullish crossover, but with bearish divergences on all indicators with additional bearish divergences look at it macd bearish rsi additional bearish awesome oscillator additional bearish on four hours time frame here is uptrend multiple tons of bearish divergences on queues huge gap bull trend on one hour time frame still bullish bullish with bearish divergences on all indicators look at it even on one hour time frame bearish divergences even on one hour time frame what can we do it's building it's a just building bearish <laughs> cannot play with it bearish divergences bearish divergences on awesome oscillator on one hour time frame also Let's move to VXN. VXN volatility index for uh, for Qs on daily time frame. It is bullish. It means neg it is negative for 
or queues, but it's completely disconnected because market doesn't have fear. No fear on the market, especially on queues, no fear. It was today minus 3% only. SPX, let's start SPX daily. Daily, my five ready for bearish crossover. MACD, bearish crossover, RSI, awesome letter. All indicators still bearish. Bearish divergences and bearish trend on all indicators on SPX on daily time frame. For hours time frame, same story, bearish crossover on all indicators on 4 hours time frame. Bearish trend, bearish divergences on all indicators. No changes for S&P 500 on 4 hours time frame. 1 hour time frame, it is bullish, right? It, it did bounce from the a negative territory and it was bullish on all indicators still bullish on one hour time frame on all indicators let's move to VIX let's see VIX volatility index minus four and a half percent today nice green bar let's see on daily time frame VIX still bullish it's a bearish for VIX bearish for v for SMP sorry Bullish VIX is a bearish for S&P. Dow Jones. Dow Jones daily time frame. Daily time frame still bearish last bar sits at the May 200. But bearish trend on all indicators. MACD, RSI, also was later bearish on daily time frame for all indicators. Uh, four hours time frame, same story, bearish trend, it's in the bearish territory, moving averages below 200, MACD below, 200, below zero line, RSI, also was later bearish, trend on four hours time frame also. On one hour time frame, it is in the bearish territory, all moving averages below 200, very far from 200, oversold on RSI, very oversold. It wants to have some bounce because, because it was very oversold. Yeah, and it did bullish crossover on one hour time frame. It wants to have bounce, bullish bounce. VXD volatility index for Dow Jones minus five and a quarter percent. Uh, still positive, still bullish. It's a bearish for Dow. IWM, IWM. Let's let's move to daily. Daily IWM still in the bearish territory, all moving averages below 200. Actually, MA100 did bullish crossover over 200. Okay, MA200 still downtrend, it did move down below 100. Okay, bearish trend, bearish trend on all indicators, still in the bearish position on daily time frame. For hours time frame, bearish reversal signal on all indicators, also bearish position because it's below 200. It was rejected from 200. It did touch 200 and it was rejected. MACD green bearish, RSI bearish, Hikanachi bearish. Let's see one hour time frame. One hour time frame, it was also bearish. Looks like it wants to have last bar disconnected from 20. It wants to have some bullish correction. Still bearish on the bearish territory on all indicators. Apple. Let's see what's going on with Apple. Apple, it's interesting. I just saw, showed you Apple, I just showed you Russell 2000. It's a 2000 American companies, mid-sized companies with uh, gross revenue 2.5 trillion with the capitalization 2.8 trillion. Apple, the same. Capitalization 2.8 trillion with the net capital with the with the gross with the gross uh, annual gross income 385 billion Russell 2000 2.5 trillion trillion Apple 385 billion but net profit for Apple 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 made net profit annual 90 4 billion, 94 billion, like around 25% net profit. 
Russell 2000, 2000 companies, they did net profit only 52 billion versus 2.5 gross income. From 2.5 gross income to 2.5 trillion income, they made just 52 billion profit, net profit. That's how to compare Apple and Russell 2000. It's completely bubble with the Apple, Nvidia. Nvidia now one trillion company, one trillion dollar company, making chips for for games. Okay, let's move to <laughs> Apple daily time frame. It was like the same like Tesla was. Tesla was uh, the, the the capitalization of the Tesla was like all combined uh, auto auto companies in the world. It was a joke. And it, it is still a joke <laughs> because Tesla, Tesla is not auto company. Now is every brand produce uh, electrical cars. Nothing. Tesla doesn't produce anything special anymore. Same like Apple. Apple doesn't make any new technology anymore. No new technology from Apple. Okay, let's yeah, it's 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 okay. Let's start. Let's do a technical analysis. Apple bearish crossover, bearish trend on daily time frame, bearish signal on all indicators, and bearish divergences on the uh, on all indicators also. Bearish divergences. Apple wants to go bearish. Daily time frame, four hours time frame. Same bearish divergences, bearish crossover on four hours time frame for Apple. Bearish trend. And one hour time frame, Apple could be bullish. Yes, MA5 did bullish crossover over all moving averages. Last bar was above all moving averages. Bullish trend on all indicators. MACD still in the bearish territory. Bullish trend on one hour time frame only. Tesla. Tesla daily time frame. It's still bullish. Four hours time frame. It was bullish, now it's ready for bearish reversal. Four hours time frame, one hour time frame. Yeah, it's negative, it's bearish because it's below 200, below 20. Yeah, May 5 did, did bullish crossover over 20. It's kind of, yeah, it's trying to get bullish. It was negative, it was bearish, now it's trying to get bullish. Baba, Alibaba Group. Let's start daily time frame. Bearish trend, straight bearish trend. Last bar below all moving averages. Bearish territory. MACD did bearish crossover high, uh, RSI. Also, most later, all indicators bearish on daily time frame. And it's still, yeah, still bearish. Bearish on all indicators. Let me show you. It wants to test, I believe it wants to test this, this bottom, $58. I think it wants to do double bottom and will bounce from it. Let's move to 4 hours time frame. Still bearish trend, bearish territory, all moving averages below 200, bearish territory, MACD, bearish RSI, also awesome slight RSI, just touched oversold territory. On 4 hours time frame, 1 hour time frame, bearish trend on all indicators, on 1 hour time frame. RSI very oversold. RSI very oversold on one hour time frame. Nvidia. Let's let's move to Nvidia. Nvidia. You see one hour time frame. Let's start from one hour. One hour huge gap. Huge gap. Sixty dollars gap. Twenty percent gap. Do you think it will be closed? I am sure it will be closed. Maybe next week, maybe next two weeks, but it will be closed. 20% gap. And you see it has already, yeah. Uh, yeah, bullish trend, bullish trend on one hour time frame. Let's move to four hours time frame. Yeah, this this line should be should be like this, should be like this one. Bullish trend. Yeah, bearish divergence was destroyed. Bearish divergence was destroyed. Bearish divergence destroyed. <laughs> Bullish trend on all indicators on four hours time frame. Daily time frame. Bullish trend. 
uh, yeah, no, actually, actually RSI still has, you see, look at it. RSI still has bearish divergence. Not RSI, awesome oscillator. Awesome oscillator. RSI doesn't have divergence. MACD doesn't have divergence. Even MACD histogram doesn't have divergence. Only, only awesome oscillator has bearish divergence. Only one indicator has bearish divergence. Bullish signal, very, very strange, very bullish, very huge gap. I believe this gap will be closed. Let me show you weekly. Uh, uh, no. I cannot show it. It did split. Okay, bullish trend for NVIDIA on daily time frame. And on, on all time frames it's a bullish. Okay, let's start. Let's do a summary. Let's do summary. Dollar is bullish. It's a, it's a negative for indexes. Only one index is bullish. It's a Q's. It's a, it's a uh, NASDAQ. NASDAQ only bullish because of the 10 large companies like NVIDIA, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Meta. 10 companies, they're pushing Q's up. Q's, Q's is still bullish bullish trend with bearish divergences on all indicators even and it left gap today it left gap two dollars gap it will be closed next week bearish divergences on all indicators it will be closed also i believe it will do bearish reversal and it will retest this line i don't know the date when it will happen but i'm i'm sure it will so far it's still bullish so far it's still bullish other indexes like S&P, it is bearish. Dow Jones, bearish. Reversal. IWM, bearish. All other indexes, they are bearish. Only Q's bullish. And dollar is bullish. And no fear on the market. No fear on the market. Volatility indexes so low. That's all. Let's do... Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. Please read it. And remember, for educational purposes, we are using paper trading account. Thank you for watching Simple Trading Style video. I do publish daily updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe for the YouTube channel. Click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.